How's it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Wrath. Day number 247. Looking for birds. I'm looking for birds. There's a bird. Day number 237 in real life. Huh. Joking, right? I was right. You're joking, right? Eh. Well, I mean, I got it. Come on, give me my arrows. Give me my arrows. Is that glitch? Is that glitch? I want my arrow. I want, I want my arrow. Give me my arrow. Nope. There you go. Got it. Ha ha ha. You ain't taking my arrow from me. I don't think so. Okay, so seven. So every time... Now, since I haven't been using the spear to attack the shark... Every time I get feathers, I use those feathers and one ingot to make arrows. There we go. Since I am going on the island, um, I will need some arrows because I am going to uh, kill this creature. And uh, so we're going to keep all those arrows on us. We're going to get this done as well. This is the island that we were at at the previous video. And uh, I got a more or less bad memory. So I had to go back on my video, watch it. Well, watch minutes of it just to make sure that I've actually explored part of the island. And then start recording at this session. So that being said, I have... I have done the underwater section. We're gonna do above water section. Robert, Robert goes here. I'm gonna keep the eggs because the eggs are mine. I'm gonna toss this, I don't need that. Uh, that's, stop it. That's gonna be the last catfish deluxe because I did run out of mushrooms, but we are going on the island. On the island, we will get mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna take this as well, just in case um, we meet up with an animal. Definitely need a bow. We don't need the hook. We don't need the spear. So you know what? I'm going to put the hook in there. And I'm going to put the spear in there. That's going to give me two inventory slots. The axe is good. And, um, I do have a crate over here to drop off unnecessary items. Okay, that's when, uh... The guy was here to build that thing. So I am going to put that in there. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm actually going to put those two in there as well. That's going to give me more inventory slots. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. I need this. Real quick. I need this. This and this. God damn it. I wanted to dump it. I drank it. Let me drink this again. I always do that. Three. There you go. That's going to fill it up. One, two, and three. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Done. Okay, cool. I thought I drank it again. Uh, the the storm, the waves, not liking them. I'm not liking them. They're, they're too... They're too often. Yoink. Uh, I was going to bring an oxygen bottle, but we don't need it. I could have brought a headlight, though. Oh, I need food. Let me eat as I traverse to my death. There's gonna be a whole bunch of white flowers up there and down there. See them? I see them. Okay, it should be good. Let me grab my bow. Is there is a creature up there? You just saw it right there. We're gonna want to kill that bad boy. Or he's going to want to kill us. One or the two. There will be a boar. As per usual. That time's a little bit harder to be able to see the animals. Uh, I.e. the like the clucker. Like I'm never going to see the clucker. Uh, I'll put that down there. Now, I know this creature can attack me down here. I've killed him here before. I'm 
What are you doing? I think we're good for now. The FPS is low. Um, I am going to be looking. Ugh. I am going to be looking at upgrading my GPU. I just got to do some research on which one would be best and which one would suit my PC without having to change everything else. GPU included. I mean, uh, motherboard included. Come on. I knew you were coming. And the uh, the boars up there. I just saw it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I can see you got an arrow sticking out of your neck, bud. Might want to get that checked out. Oh, flowers. You coming? I don't think he's coming. You gotta keep doing my thing. You got a problem, you come find me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I haven't found a Balboa Island yet. I mean, obviously I've found Balboa. I haven't found a Balboa look-alike just yet. Um, receiver, that's, that's what it is. It's to be found on the receiver. And we are gonna go on the hunt for it. I do have plans this afternoon so um, I'm not going to be playing for long I am streaming on my discord server different game but um, this is this is today's video today's video is also eh, eh, eh. yeah eh, you better today's video is also a little bit special I did do another giveaway on my discord server somebody else got to name an animal on my raft I've got two so far. I got one llama that is no, named Fluffy. No relations to the name's got no um, no reasoning behind it. Just Fluffy. Um, I guess I should start from the start. Uh, the first one was the Pink Clucker, Canadian Brit, member of my server, member since the start. Um. Won the first giveaway ever to name an animal on my raft. He won, he chose to name the pink clucker. Now, unfortunately, at the time that he won, I did not have the pink clucker. So I gave him the option. Either you can wait until I find the pink clucker and name it then, or you can choose another animal at this point in time and go from there. He chose to keep his choice for the pink clucker. And to wait, hopefully, I wasn't going to take too long in finding said animal. Luckily for him, like two days later, I actually found the pink clucker out of pure chance. I'm looking for cluckers. There's a llama right there. Right there. So, um, the pink clucker was named by him. It was named Aston for his um, favorite car, which is an Aston Martin. And his favorite color is red. Therefore, the pink clucker is named Aston Martin. One of the brown llamas is named Fluffy by another winner on my... Yes, I... Do I want you? I'll be back for them. Dodie is the second one that won a animal giveaway on my channel. He chose to name one of the pink... No, one of the, um, the regular llamas as Fluffy. Again, as I said, no relations or no reasoning behind it. And then there were Felix. Felix is actually a, uh, a moderator in the modding community. He is a creator of mods for the game. Part of my server as well. And he won the name an animal. So for Christmas, I gave away Steam cards and I gave away XP points. So XP points in my server give you higher ranks. And I gave away a uh, name an animal on my raft. Um, Felix was lucky. Um, because the bots have been liking him a lot lately, like a lot. He did win the, um, one of the gift cards that was given out 
for Christmas. And about a day later, he won the um, the name the animal. I, I had to look it up. <laughs> he got a bad memory. So yeah, today we are going to name one of the animals for Felix himself. And I may come back for that. I'm not sure if I want it. How much room do I got? I can dump you. I'll dump the rest once I get up here. Because I actually know. I'm not going to even have room for... To create the dirt or the mushrooms. Yeah, I know. You're going to run around. Unless... No. I mean, this axe is pretty close. I feel like the backpack should be somehow upgradable. I mean... You, uh, for a person like me, for example, I'm a hoarder. I can't go to an island and do one trip. It has to be multiple trips on an island. Otherwise than that, I don't pick up half the stuff. See the mango seed? I want the mango seed. So let me move over a bit. You, you, uh, you, you, and you. Mango seed. I, I think they all stacked. Nope, right there. Mango seed. Plank, plank. That's good. Okay, so I got the seed. I'm good. I do have room. Uh, yeah, I'll grab this. I do have room. Let's grab the shovel. At least I have room for the dirt and I have room for the mushrooms. Um... I mean, I have a lot of dirt. I don't have mushrooms. I need mushrooms. It'd be awesome if we could grow mushrooms, which I've ne honestly never tried. I'm sure a lot of you people out there have tried to seed slash grow mushrooms. I've never tried. See, I can't grab those. I'm going to have to come back for those. So maybe something's changed in the latest update where they finally let us grow mushrooms. I doubt it, but I'm going to try it. You know I got to try it. Let me drink some water. Now, if I could kill or attack this creature, I could get rid of this bow. So let's slowly make ourselves up there because I'm pretty sure just going to get some white flowers on the way there, which I already have the flowers and the seeds, so I'm golden on that part. That's not going to take inventory. Ah, but the screecher will take feathers, which I can always dump. The screecher head I dump as well, and it's going to be the meat. Yeah, I'm good. Let's, let's just keep going. Let's keep going as far as we can. Wait. And then on both sides of the ramp here. Yoink. And over here. Yoink, yoink. Yoink. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sheesh. Hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday morning. Saturday morning for me. I don't know where you are. But uh, for me, it's Saturday. And I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas as well. Ah! A wonderful Christmas as well. Safe, of course. There's the bar. Safe and a great on my end. As much as I could uh, say, I suppose. Let me grab this. Yoink, yoink. Ah, see, ooh, ooh. No problem. Yeah. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna give you that. Ooh. You, you gonna fix yourself? You good? You good? No, I think he's good. Looks like he didn't know that there, but I think he's good. He's a coming. Woo. All right, so let's move away from here. Because by the looks of it, he's kind of bugged out here. But I don't want to go too high. Because if I go too high, then he's going to... That guy. He's going to attack me. I actually created that emoji on the um, of the boar on the Wrath Discord. So if you join the Rav Discord and you use the Warthog slash War emoji, brought to you by yours truly. Hi, buddy. I'm going to kill you in a minute, okay? 
Actually, I might not. I can still hurt him. What's up? Boop. Where are you going? Boop. Got him. Ah. You didn't drop it. There he is. All right, cool. I'm down to one bow. Cool. That's what I wanted. Uh, okay, I gotta keep an eye on you. Okay, you just clipped right through the mountain. We're gonna pretend like that never happened. Ah, missed. No! Where'd you go? There you are. We'll come down here, so I keep an eye on him. I keep an eye on him at the same time. I need some food. Don't worry about it. Yoink. Got him. Oh. Got him too. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't want him to despawn. I don't want oh, no. no, 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 no. Get over here. Man. Poor body all mangled. Arrow. One. I got lucky enough to get one back at least. All right, cool. I'm gonna keep the arrows. I mean the uh, the feathers. I'm gonna go that way, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the feathers. I could do two stacks of arrows with the twelve feathers that I have there. When I need food. Oh, I was gonna say wait. I knew I had food somewhere. Okay, yeah. So I could do two stacks of arrows. And how many did I? Yeah. So I am in my stack of thirty already. That's the only nuisance about this is you don't get to collect your arrows. Um, luckily, ooh, I, I have an abundance of resources. So like metal ore to me is simple. So if I use two ingots to end up making arrows to be able to kill the animals here, once I go underwater, I'll end up collecting at least maybe like 12 metal ore which gives me 12 ingots. So I'm winning regardless. So, I mean, for me, I think the arrows are... Even though it is a loss, you could always use stone arrows as well. Uh, obviously, you're going to cause less damage, but they're much, much, much cheaper to make. I think they act the same way with the shark, as in if you if you shoot a stone arrow at the shark, he still pulls back from you. He still moves away. Uh, ow. Yeah, yeah. Boop. What? Hold on, there's an arrow there. I want it. Holy crap. I want this. Ah, oh, thank you. Man, he died quick. One, two. What you got? What you got, bud? What you got? Nothing. You got nothing. All right. I should be good. I should be good. We already had the meat. Yeah, see, I don't want the head. I'm good on the head. Okay, so let's go up. But we're just going to grab the stuff that we already have. One, and two at the same time. That uh, indicates to me if there is a, a rare animal. Now, I am running out of room already for the rare animals. And when I designed the new... And there's just going to be red berries back there. Wait. Uh... When I designed my new pen for my rare animals, I kind of did it small. I'm not going to lie. I did it a bit small. It should be bigger. Um, since the day I built it, I've been considering another one of you. I've been considering expanding it already. And it may end up happening because I'm going to want more animals. Because I, I do giveaways and I don't. Yeah, it's just normal little fun giveaways for people to have their impact on my raft and on my series. Um, I can grab the seeds, which is pretty much all I want. So I, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a working around on my creative raft and uh, see what I can come up with for a bigger pen. 
maybe have it two levels. Originally, I had multiple levels. I can grab those, right? I had a design with multiple levels of... of um, so when I did the pens and I expanded to the back of the pen, that was option three, I believe. Um, three of three. The other options were uh, one structure, but multiple levels. One was an open top, so uh, normal animals down below and rare animals up above on an open top. So the, I mean, the rain could take care of the grass plots. And one was the same principle, but a closed top. And then number three was just like that. Now, number three looked a lot better than all the other ones. But I'm just thinking it's a bit too small. We're going to look into that shortly because we are heading back to the massive raft. And we're going to grab ourselves an animal to give a name to. And then I got to come back on the island off recording to grab all the crates, the rest of the flowers, and the red berries. I do that kind of stuff off recording because I don't, I mean, you guys don't need to see me come back here just for this and this. Uh, I feel like a, that would waste an episode. So with that being said, let's go. Red berries. Let's go right there. Look at that behemoth of a raft. So far, I've only seen two llamas. One's right there. One's right there. See him? Two brown llamas. I already got two of those. Not sure if I want more. Oof. Always go backwards as you're going down and you're not going to die. Oh, man. This axe is so close to being destroyed. Is there no more trees? Is there no more? Nope. We're good. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's grab the bow. Just in case Sharky Boy will try this anything. We're speaking of Sharky Boy. Yeah, I know. You're coming. Yoink. That is what I meant by the arrows. I'm not sure if the stone arrows have the same reaction as one arrow pushes them off like that. Uh, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've... Um used stone arrows okay let's drop off some stuff so i can refill my water i don't have black i do have white i do have blue i do have red and i do got yellow i got seeds over here and yes i remember where all my stuff is let's go drop off the seeds for the flowers everything but black wait uh, that's what I thought. I thought I did a, a, a little glitch there. I put the seeds in here and not the flowers in here. Yeah. Let's go back. Yoink. And there you have this. I do have reds and I do have yellows. If you're new to my raft, you're going to see that my flowers are on the opposite side. Seagulls have never attacked my flowers. Never once. My engines are in this beautiful compartment. Which I don't use. FYI, as I stated in the previous video, we still got to go for a swim to that island. It's going to be a quick little one. Um, probably going to do it in the next video. Okay, what else do I got? Uh, I do got dirt. I do got leather. Let's go drop off the leather. Which is being kept upstairs next to the dead batteries. This is my letter. These are my dead batteries. I got storage full of them um, in the event that a battery charger does come. And that's all my armor. So like my letter greaves, my helmets. I've gone that far with it. Uh, the greaves, no, the body armor. And this is the greaves, which is the boots. I haven't gotten that far. I'm doing one at a time. Let's look for a bird. We do got two birds. That's going to give us a little bit of meat. And that's also going to give us more feathers. So we can make more arrows. Now I don't need, and this is just because I happen to have the bird. Um, I'm killing the bird regardless because I want the meat. The important part in this to me is the meat. Feather wise, I'm full. I got feathers. I don't need the feathers. I'm full on feathers. But 
it's good to have. Okay, let's drop off the, because I can make arrows. This, the shovel, the shovel could go back. I do need my hook. Uh, you go there. I do need my spear. Okay. This can go there. This can go here. And I'm actually going to eat this. Okay, that's done. Let's bump this up there. And then grab this. This. Which just goes at the end here. You can go up there. You go there. You go number three. This and this. Okay, perfect. And then you go over here. Um... Do we want the llamas? That's the question here. Do I want the llamas? My wool, wait, is high up. I got a lot of wool. I can't do armor without the letter. And that's the hard part. It's finding the letter. It's it's actually killing the boar to be able to get the letter. I need planks. Because I need to do some uh, arrows. So let's do the nets while we're here. I see in barrels. I see... Oh. I see some stuff. Yep. Spam it. Spam it real good. All right, cool. I uh, don't need you, don't need you, and don't need you. I am going to drop off the goodies. Wait a minute. Uh, uh. Yep, hooking expert. I'm still a hooking expert, I should say. Yoink. That goes there, and you're full. Wait, I thought I was dying. I'm good, I thought I was dying. Okay, ingots. Ingots will make me um, arrows. Then I can drop off the rest of the feathers that I don't need. One, two, three, four. Ah, I'm short one feather. That's all right. Okay, cool. So that gave me another 18. So you see the arrows that I just collected. So it, it took four ingots. But like I said, I've been underwater and I've collected the ingots. So I'm slowly rebuilding my arrows every time. Otherwise than that, I would have to... Go in here, grab some arrows, rebuild my inventory just to end up to rehab to have to refill this storage. Ah. I'm just gonna toss them because I'm pretty sure that once there's three feathers in there, the birds don't come no more. In that nest. So let's let's save them. Okay, let's go let's refill this. That good? Yeah, just the meat. Let's drop the meat off right here. I'm gonna take care of the recipe afterwards. I don't know what to do with this meat, I'll be honest with you. Let's actually get that going. Blank, 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 blank. And Catfish Deluxe, which is right here. I could actually do one more because I did get some mushroom. Wait, was it one mushroom? It is one mushroom. Catfish. Actually, you can go up there. Catfish is here. I got three, right? Three of those. Yeah. Three of those. And then the potatoes. Uh, it was double, so six. All right, cool. So one of these, one of these, and two of those. Okay, let's go, let's go animal, let's drink. I always get sidetracked and I do apologize for that. So if you're new to my series, I take care of my animals off recording because it's just five, 10 minutes out of my time and not your time. So I'm not wasting an episode. Cluckers, goats, llamas. So originally I had all my animals in the same pen here. Um, and I can show you real quick how I take care of them. So let me grab some water. 
Yeah, get back in here. Originally, they were all in here, but then I wanted to separate my rare animals between my good animals. My, uh, my normal animals, I should say, not the good ones. So they do take a lot of water. The cluckers are the worst. Uh, so once they move away from the door, go back out and refresh, refill this. Cool. I check them two at a time. I check the battery. The battery's good. Put the battery back. Check the battery. I mean, it's not the best, but it will do. Refill the water here. Refill the water here. And again. Check the battery, it's good. Check the battery, it's all right. Grab the eggs. Now these are all my um, original slash regular slash normal cluckers. They're not the rare breed. I should have six. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'm down to five. It does happen that they do walk out or you lose them. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. He was hiding right here in the corner. So I do have six of those, none of these have been named by my um, by my members just yet. Just yet. I mean, it, it will come to a point where I will have no more rare animals, and I'm gonna be like, well, I mean, you're 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 screwed. I mean, this, this is what you got, but so those are my regular cluckers. These are my rare cluckers. I got two of them. I got the pink one, which is named Aston. Uh, he's facing away, and I do have the bald eagle-looking little clucker. That one still to be named. Check this, check that, that's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, one more. All right, cool. When I'm done, I leave, I refill my water every chance. In the back here, I keep batteries. That's what I got left. I keep eggs, and this will be eggs as well, because I, I don't need tools for the cluckers, for example. These are the goats, now for the goats, uh, milk, because that's the outcome of the goat. Empty buckets, because that's the tool that I need for the goats. And of course, batteries for the goats. So let's do the same thing for the goats. Come in here. I do have one of these. I thought I had two of the black ones. I have one. He's all by himself, so I don't need four sprinklers. So these ones have batteries in them. Um, but they don't need to water anything. So top off the water, top off the water, check the battery battery's good these this guy like a super super low battery even worse than this will last for the longest time ever refill every chance i get come in here close the door because they will walk off your raft check the same thing check the battery battery's good there's nothing to do here unless you want to collect the milk uh excuse me thank you I don't collect the milk too often. I'm full of milk absolutely everywhere. And then my llamas. So walk in here. I got three of these. Uh, two zebra looking ones and one of those. None of these have been named by my uh, members. Check the battery. Battery's good. Walk out. Close the door. Refill. Come in here. Close the door. Double check this. Double check this. These guys, there's only two of them. These are the regular llamas. Unless I go grab the other two from the island. Uh, again, I only need half of the grass plots. I don't need to water, change all four batteries. Uh, these are losses in the past. One of these is named Fluffy, not this guy. This guy. This guy is named Fluffy, as you can see. That has been the winner. Now, when I'm done this, I don't need to refill the water, but I usually do because I drink after. Got myself a pair of shears. Walk back in here. Shear all my llamas. Oh. Shearing the llamas will get back in there. Give you wool. Get back in here. And wool will be for your armor and stuff like that, which I don't use, but I do still want. Come back in here. Put this back. I'm full. That's it. And then I'm done. So then I drink my water. Run back over here. Top my water back off. And top this back off as well. And there you go. That is how I do my animals. Now as for the winner for today, ladies and gentlemen. This little bad boy. This little bad boy's got no name. I only got one of them. He's not a rare sheep. But he is the winner. Felix decided to choose this guy. And he is going to be named Pointy Sheep. 
Uh, I asked for reasoning behind this, and uh, there's no special reason. He just likes the idea that goats look like sheep with pointy things on their head. So there you go, Felix. This is your animal. Um, I mean, unless the animal dies, which it shouldn't. I've always kept them watered. I've, I've, I don't think actually since the start I've ever had an animal die of hunger. Um those guys came super close but luckily so the beauty of this when these guys came super close to dying i, I came here and the battery was dead there's no grass they were super close to dying if i would have watered the plots changed the battery it still would have taken x amount of time until the grass grew i just grabbed them all and i transferred them on this side the grass was already there so i had that beauty i had that backup that i mean they're about to die they got nothing to eat i could just transfer them over on this side it's a big small though. I mean, for these guys, for example, I got three in here. Um, same with these guys, I got three. And these guys, I got two. Now, it is recommended one animal per, let's say, four or five grass plots. So, it would be good for three. But if I grab more goats, more llamas, or continue off with the cluckers, I will need to look at expanding this pen. How, I don't know. But that's going to be it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Don't forget to smash that sub button as well as join the Discord server. The link is at the top right corner right there. I will see you in the next video.